Hi, I'm Stephanie Sandifer, and today I have Lauren Nalty here, who is an artist, a mom, and an art teacher, and she's amazing at all three. And because of the Arts and Crafts Festival that's coming up at the end of April, beginning of May, I've started interviewing local artists. And I wanted to kind of find out a little bit about your art and your process and kind of what you do. I know a lot of these answers. I know that we talked about when we first met, our kids were so excited because Wesley and Crennan were so excited because their moms were both artists and they were friends. Yes. So that's how we became friends. So Yes, I'm so grateful to know that you're an artist and I told my son, you better stay friends with him because I love having art friends. So yeah, And it is fun. It's great. It is fun. Um, so where did you go to school? I went to school at the University of Central Arkansas mm -hmm. in Conway, Arkansas and I got my bachelor's in art education to become an art teacher. Um, and then right after, I, I got a job and pursued my master's in uh, art education, uh, but I did it with a curriculum and instruction focus. So that is so curriculum. amazing. I love it. <laughs> because you were doing this when you had the kids. Yeah, so I did that. Um, I finished uh, my bachelor's in 2009 and then finished my um, master's immediately right mm -hmm. after. Mm -hmm. So you've always been an art teacher and how often do you get to paint? I know right now we've got this, this beautiful art, abstract art, that she not only teaches classes at the Eastern Shore Art Center, she also paints abstractly and does a little bit of, how would you call your style when you have the children in your painting? What, what would you call um, that as? I just call, whenever I do my commissions, mm -hmm. I've been a commissions artist since 2009 and it started because I had my son Crennan mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to capture those memories. And I love paintings that, you know, um, capture an emotion mm -hmm. and it's just different from a photograph. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just call those my nostalgic memories. Um, and so when I paint them, I think of capturing that memory, that feeling of that certain time in, you know, the child's life and the family's life. So I would call it nostalgic. Nostalgic, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that kind of leads me to the next question is, what is your inspiration? Uh, well, I have different inspirations. Mm -hmm. uh, my commissions, like I said, I've done for since 2009, and I never really did anything other than just when someone wanted, they would see a painting that I did, and they mm -hmm. would commission me to um, do one for their family. And I still do that to this day. Um, that's been my main bread and butter, I guess, of my art. And not until recently, I guess 2015, I applied to my first juried um, sh art festival. And I got accepted and I was really shocked because it was so new to me and I didn't really know what I was doing. And, uh, but I got accepted. I mean, so, what yeah, an honor. I was so excited. And um, so I had a lot of my commissions or, that I did, but mm -hmm. you can't really paint commission, you know, for the art festival. So mm -hmm. um, I went back to kind of my roots. So before my commissions is mm -hmm. I love um, abstract art. I love art that evokes emotions with just lines, shapes, and colors. I love working with formal elements. And um, I also uh, love, you know, being inspired by nature. So like mm -hmm. animals, landscapes, mm -hmm. still lifes. Um, but I still have the overall theme of that, that movement and those lines and those mm -hmm. colors to kind of evoke the same uh, feelings that maybe my commissions would, but I don't have to necessarily have to have the same subject matter. Do you find sometimes, and when I talk to people and I talk shop, you know, the art teacher in me comes out and I don't even realize yeah. it. <laughs> but your use of line and color, uh, we don't have the same style, but at the same time, you know exactly what I'm talking yes. about. Like, I like line and I like color. And I can see that in both of the pieces that you brought here. So, um, so you're, we talked about your background and your creative process. Do you have a certain piece of art or an artist that you most identify with? Um, it depends. I, since I guess I'm an art teacher mm -hmm. and I've studied art so much, I love to play around with just the process of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so my style kind of changes. I mean, I have my general style I feel now with my bright colors and um, I love my gestural lines. I think mm -hmm. those two things are my strongest um, in myself, but I still like to play with others. Uh, styles, um, but I really love uh, Mary Cassatt okay. um, because of her color and her child. Uh, the bath is one of my favorite um, paintings. I love uh, Basquiat because okay. lines. Wow. Okay. So it's like I have a right. Like I'm kind of I'm, yeah, I'm kind 
kind of. Uh, so when I share that with people, they're like, well, that's so different. But mm -hmm. I love it for different reasons. It mm -hmm. evokes a different emotion for me. Mm -hmm. And my art is very emotion-driven. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when I'm my best artist is when I um, harness that emotion. And and those emo they're different, you know, right. each painting. So I love Basquiat. And then uh, I appreciate a lot of different art. But those two, I feel kind of encapsulate me mm -hmm. and if you look at my artwork of my commissions or if you look at even some of the other things you can kind of see those two um, kind of meld together. Sometimes you can also see the progression of your art when you have them all next to each other and you don't even realize yes. what you're doing. It's kind of, it's just subconscious because I can see the difference but on your website I can see how they all kind of go together. Yeah, it's funny you say that because, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've been a teacher for over 12 years mm -hmm. and uh, I'm always in art every day, every day. Um, but I've, I've only done my own art really since 2015, where I've still, you know created to just put just it out to the world. Mm -hmm. And being in these shows has really allowed me to look at my artwork in an unbiased way when it's mm -hmm. on the walls, and I see myself in a different light. So it's really um, cool to have that reflective moment. Yeah, that is that's pretty cool. Um, what other jobs have you had besides being an artist? Um, well, I've uh, been an art teacher for 12 years. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably my biggest job, and I've taught at the at university for two years at a wow. college. I did not know that. I taught um, like pre-service teachers mm -hmm. how to um, use art in their classroom. Okay. I did that at the University of um, Little Rock in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I was a I worked at a comedy show for like <laughs> two years. I was like a, a waitress, um, I can't remember what's like called. Like a server? A server, okay. but just for like alcoholic drinks. Okay. And it was so fun to listen to comedy. And I only did it on Friday and Saturday, but I, feel, I did it for like two or three years. And it was so much fun. I loved it. We're going to have to talk about that. It was I did not know that about you. It's funny when you talk to people in this format, yeah. because I've, I'm learning so much about people, people that are friends with and I didn't know. Yeah, um, Although I, I couldn't probably do it now because you had to be up till two and three in the morning. But it was so much fun in, in my younger days, That's and uh, so, cool. so yeah. And That's I also so worked cool. at at UCA. I worked in the financial aid office, mm -hmm. so I worked there for gosh four years, and that was a great time. I I can tell you all about the FAFSA <laughs> and all about student loans and grants. And everything. I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to you because yeah, you know so, I've got two. Yeah. One is a junior, gonna be a senior, and one's a sophomore, about to be a junior. So. Yeah. We're, if you know about that, Seriously. we're going to have to talk about that also. Yes. Uh, maybe over wine. Sounds great. <laughs> I love it. Always with wine. Um, so, what role do you think art funding has? I mean, what, what do you think? Because I have my opinion about you know, public funding and you know, showing people what's going on. Um, Thief is a good example of that. Um, what, what do you think? I... Um, love that there's a focus on it here in Fairhope. Mm -hmm. I mean, gosh, I'm so grateful for FIFA and all the things that they're doing in our community. And um, I believe that it's so important, especially as an art teacher, I see it from the inside. And um, I feel that our you know schools do a great job funding. And I would love to, you know, get more community involvement perhaps mm -hmm. and um, provide um, other fundings, like one thing, I have a passion project that I really want to do one of these days, and because I think about how I can contribute, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, I can tr contribute by being an art teacher, but how else can I contribute? And one of my passion projects that I really want to do is um, provide art boxes to um, children who may not be able to, you know, have their right. families buy right. art supplies because they are expensive. And one of the reasons why I'm an artist is my mom always gave me art supplies, mm -hmm. always gave me art supplies. I mean, I had art supplies all the time. Mm -hmm. And just holding that in your hands when you're a little child can make a difference in your, in oh, your life. definitely. And because I'm so passionate about that, um, it's kind of like how Tom's does that buy a pair of Tom's mm -hmm. and give mm -hmm. a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, I want to do something like that where um, they have an art box that they get, uh, maybe I have a box that I can give to someone and then give one to, you know, get, I, that's what I want to do. I, it's just a dream of mine and I don't know how I can do it, mm -hmm. uh, but it's something I'm kind of building up towards. It's like I have a goal, right. but I'm trying to find my way there. 
So maybe it could start locally, like Samaritan's Purse, you know, with the shoe boxes, and at Christmas. I don't know about the Samaritan's yeah, Purse. Yeah, and at Christmas they give a shoe box that it's filled with certain items for kids and certain oh my needs. Gosh. But maybe we could do something locally where we could provide those boxes and then wow. work up to something else because I've not heard of the art box. Before. Oh my gosh! I've heard of the shoes and you know things at Christmas time, but maybe. Yeah, that's. You want some help? Oh help my gosh, that would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be great, Stephanie. Because I mean, I know one thing is you can't do anything on your own these mm -hmm. days at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think that something that I see my students needing, like when they're like, Miss Nolte, I don't have markers at home. So I'm like, here, baby, take a marker. I know. You know, and and so it just opens my eyes, and mm -hmm. um, I try to encourage kids, and you know, with our, their art, and I think that's something that you know, we could provide in our, in our community. Mm -hmm. There is an event that's coming up, and I apologize, Gina Littlepage, uh, she asked me yesterday to join in this event, and I was going to ask you about it. It's with the Baldwin County Trailblazers, and there's an event that's going to be at the end of April, beginning of May. I'll get the dates, and I'll post it on my website and attach it to your video, but it's called Chalk the Walk and each artist purchases a section of the walk, boardwalk in front of the bay. I love that. And we all are painting and drawing at the same time, and then there awesome. is a, uh, an award ceremony afterwards, and one person wins, and it's to raise money for that. this. And I, I, did, I saw that on, I think, on Facebook, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize what it was. I think I just, so that's awesome. i have to go back yeah. and check it out. Yeah. Thank and, you for tagging. And I'll get you connected mm -hmm. with that, and we'll kind of tie it all in together because that's an example of how we're including art in the community. Yes, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Is it just started? Is it the it's, first year? This is the very first oh year, gosh. which is why I don't know that much about it, but mm -hmm. I, I'm learning about oh. it. Um, but I'll make sure that you get included as well. Oh, okay, great. So. Yeah, since I've only been here for like three years now, four years, it's I'm slowly learning the community and learning how I can get more involved with it. But you're, that's you're so, really involved though with I the try to be. <laughs> junior auxiliary. Yes, mm -hmm. the junior auxiliary. Um, that's I love being a part of that and um, helping the community in that way. Um, definitely want to work on bringing the arts yes. and more to our kids yes. too because they need it. They really do. And like you said, they're so they get it at school, but some kids, they just need more. They need it at home, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can always tell it. my kids' friends when they come over and they're like, I gotta show you something. <laughs> they pull it. out their sketchbook <laughs> and show me what they've been drawing. And, and that just feels good because they're looking up to you as an artist and they want to know more about art. Yes, and I can't wait to tell my kids I'm waiting until it gets closer to time, mm -hmm. but I can't wait to tell my students to come see me at the they art festival. Know. No, I haven't told them yet. Mm -mm. So I'm waiting to tell them. And I have like a stack of little cards that have my information on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pass it out to the kids and oh, you know, if they wanna come. Cause I think it's important for them to see, you know, a working artist, right. their teacher right. is an artist. Right. And not just a teacher, even though we're, we're superheroes, I know. <laughs> yes, but, and a mom yeah, also. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna ask her a few more questions, but while we have silence, because we have Charlotte with us also, what is the best way that people could get in touch with you and what's the name of your website? I am going to post your logo with your information, but how could they get in touch with you? Um, the best way to get a hold of me is just through my Instagram, Lauren Nolte Art. Um, they can also email Lauren Nolte Art at okay. gmail.com. Okay. And I do have a website, uh, Lauren Nolte Art. Okay. Um, it's HTTPS, then Lauren Nolte Art. Okay. It's like, I guess it's supposed to be more, it's or something okay because I know some people put like www and it won't take you to my email right. you have to either just type in Lauren Alti art period or yeah HTTPS uh, I learned something yeah recently. I, know. I learned I just something learned. recently that you don't have to put www on oh, really? the website well if you do on mine it will take it you to like media com it will say really? yeah so okay I just, well, I'll make sure Lauren I post did. that and then I also do have a Facebook, Lauren Nolte mm -hmm. Art. Everything's just my name, Art. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's me. Yeah. Um, so you said that you have moved here four years ago. Yeah. And you love this town. I love it. I know that's hard to pinpoint one thing when people ask me that. I'm like, gosh, I don't know. But what is your favorite thing about living in Fairhope? Gosh, I love that I live four miles mm -hmm. from the water, mm -hmm. <laughs> from the bay. Mm -hmm. I love the community. Everyone's so sweet and, like, caring. Yes. And they kind of take you under their wing, and they're pleasant and friendly. Mm -hmm. We have great climate. I mean, 
It's just wonderful. I love all the restaurants. Do you like to shop in Fairhope? I love to shop in Fairhope too much, probably. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, one of my friends that owns the store next door, Cats Meow, I frequent there uh, maybe a Love little bit store. too much. Um, but one of the reasons why I was doing this website and this page is because I just want everybody to shop local, be local, have a sense of community, and support each other. So that's really what this is about. So People want to get in touch with you. I know you've given everybody your information, and I'll post that on the website. But is there anything else you want to say to everybody before we get done with the interview? Okay, um, I would love to just say I look forward to seeing everyone uh, April 30th uh, to May 2nd for the Arts and Crafts Festival. Come to my booth. It's uh, booth number 441, I believe. And I'd love to say hi. And y'all can tell me that you uh, listened to this interview yes. on, with uh, Stephanie. And I'm so thankful, Stephanie, that you were able to ask me to come here and interview with you today and, and share my art and my passion.